What is up guys? It's Ford Focus 165 and today we're gonna be reviewing the British cars on the new Ultimate Driving Update. And the first two cars I'll show you are the two only British cars that are in Ultimate Driving right now. They are the Aston Martin DB5 Vantage and the Jaguar F-Type SVR. So I'm very excited to review these cars for you guys. This video is going to be a lot slower than the other car reviews since there are only two cars to review in the British category. So yeah, let's get to the oldest car on this list for all the new Ultimate Driving cars for the update. Which is the Aston Martin DB5 Vantage. The first and only Aston Martin right now. So as an old Aston Martin, this has a price tag of $450,000 and you earn $912 a mile with acceleration from 0 to 60 in 6 seconds and a max speed of 143 miles per hour 231 kilometers. It's, I guess that's a little slow for a $450,000 car. But I guess that's how old cars were back then. And the Aston Martin DB5 is a really valuable car. So without further ado, let's buy the oldest car on the update. The Aston Martin DB5 Vantage. So this Aston Martin has a very nice design on it. You see, it's very nice, beautifully done in its classic style. Now one of the misconceptions about the design is they try to add a fake British license plate over there and leave it blank. So they did not add British plates yet. But instead, you have to have your own state plate or country from Canada below the British plate. Hopefully, one day there will be plates around the world if I want to choose from, since there are a lot of people in our countries. But here's the turn signals. Of course, they're in its yellow circles for its turn signals, and small little circles right there, and big old headlights back in the 60s. But yeah, they did a very great design on this. But it does not have the old sound. So that's very unique. So now it's time to do acceleration tests. With 0 to 100. And the full speed in 3, 2, 1, go. So, in about 10 seconds, it goes 0 to 100. And in 13 and a half seconds, it's 0 to full speed. So now it's do braking and handling. Braking's not too bad. Could be a little better. By a low speed like that. Handling is good. So yeah, braking is really good on this for an old car. So yeah, this thing is a good car to get if you really like to enjoy the 60s. But anyways, now we must move on to the Jaguar F-Type, saying goodbye to this retro car. I really recommend this car if you really like the 60s, since this is the oldest car in the update. 
very outstanding job. This is a little like a wolf's voice today, but yeah. This is so classy with the door handle, the windsill, all that old style right there. Here's what Bruce looks like. But now, you have to go to the modern version of the British cars that are in this update. Which is the Jaguar F-Type SVR. So now we go to this. It has a price tag of $293,600. And it has an outstanding cash back of $802 a mile. With a 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and a max speed of exactly 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers. So let's buy this the Jaguar F Type. As I think it's really loud in real life, it still sounds all the same. So now it's time to review the Jaguar F-Type SVR. And it's the last car on the British list for ultimate driving as well. So in design, I really like the part that they did a good job with the Jaguar F-Type SVR. They did a really nice job with its modern look. And also the Jaguar bags has a realistic Jaguar emblem with its Jaguar face. They also have the SVR badge as well and additional vents on the hood. So that's a very good job right there. They have a nice wing on that too for the Jaguar F type. But yeah, in design, it's excellent. So I forgot to mention, the Jaguar F type is a left hand drive car but Ultimate Driving for 22 Pilots, he did a great job making the Aston Martin a right hand drive because that's what British cars are in real life since they drive on the left side of the road. So that's just something that I needed to include right there. Alright, now let's do turn signals on the F-Type. Turn signals are amazing on this. Just look at that perfect lining against the headlights. Also, they did turn signals on the side mirrors. And on the back, that's a very cool touch. Not the whole lights blinking, but only small little squares back there are blinking. So that's a very nice touch. And this is what headlights look like when they are off. They still have that nice illumination. But now it's time to test the performance on this. So we'll start this when we're in Woodbury. So it's time to do its acceleration test in three, two, one, go. So it seems like we're struggling a little to reach 200 miles per hour. But still, it's very good. In about 6 seconds, it's 0 to 100. But we couldn't really reach 200 miles per hour. But close enough, it's probably about 16 or 17 seconds to get to 195. You earn 447 experience points for every mile you make, which I actually did forget to tell you guys the experience point amount on the Aston Martin. So we'll just do that at the end of the video. Let's do some braking on the interstate. Braking is really good on this. It does a good job. It's fast. 
But we'll turn around and go on the Cape Hell Open exit again to judge its handling. Well, actually, now that we turned around, handling is pretty decent on this. Car's a little wide, so I guess that's why that's a little slower. And it's pretty good when it comes to handling at higher speeds as well. So this is a good car. The Jaguar F-Type is a good car and really beats it for its modern reputation on the British cars. And here's Aaron A. Some of the boost. So now I'm going to show you guys the XP amount for the Aston DB5 before we end the video. You earn 525 XP for every time you make a mile on this Aston Martin DB5. So yes guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video very much. You may like this video, comment in the box below for your thoughts about the British cars in the update. What do you think about my reviews? And what do you think about the cars as well? And what do you think they do? Also this video in general. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat located in the description. And you may subscribe. Bye.